Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced the end of the statewide mask mandate, allowing businesses now to reopen at full capacity. Failed California Governor Gavin Newsom, now in the middle of a possible recall, says it was reckless. And by the way, he was caught again in a restaurant, but he claims I didn't eat in the restaurant. Bozo O'Rourke called it a death warrant. Meanwhile, up on Capitol Hill, Democrats are continuing to charge forward with their attack on election integrity with H.R. 1, which would massively expand mail-in uh, voting, ballot harvesting, uh, create the perfect storm for election chaos, and, yeah, no ID and felons get to vote. No one person knows more about any of, more of this than Kaylee McEnany, who we can now officially welcome as a member of our Fox News family. We're glad to have you, Kaylee. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good to join you, Sean. Well, I did notice that Jen Psaki uh, said she was asked if she had any good wishes for you or if she'd join you, uh, and she said, sure. Um, question, would that you be open to that? I'll open up my program. I'd love, if she's willing to do a wide range of programs, I'd love circle back Jen Psaki to come back on this program. Do you think you were treated as the way she is treated, or were you treated differently? Oh, I think it's obvious to anyone who has watched the press briefings, it was an entirely different treatment by the press. I mean, for one, she was asked what Joe Biden thought of the Antifa riots, and, you know, her answer was that she hadn't spoken to him. If I would have given an answer like that, it would have been unacceptable. The headlines would have been egregious and appalling afterward. Look, I respect her for saying that she would be willing to go on Fox. She has been on Fox and networks that will challenge her, as they should. But you know what? I guess my question is, Where's Joe? It's been 41 days. Uh, at this point, President Trump had had multiple press appearances, press conference. President Barack Obama had as well. Uh, Joe Biden needs to step up. We need to hear from him. Uh, he needs to engage in the transparency that he promised us. He hasn't thus far. Okay. Now, she went on Fox News Sunday. That's on the Fox Broadcast Network. Um, if she really wants a diversity of views, now, I'll make two offers to her. She can come on with me one-on-one. -on -one. Love to have her. Or I will let her debate you or discuss the issues uh, of the day. But uh, I guess she'll circle back with me on that? Or what do you think? Hey, I would love to see uh, you interview the press secretary, Sean. Well, you would have too. some hard-hitting questions that, man, conservatives would want to hear from. Uh, number one, why is it that under President Donald Trump, they talk about cages that were falsely attributed to him uh, in the immigration context that indeed were put in place by President Barack Obama? And then, of course, now we know these immigration facilities are opened, uh, but there's no criticism there. We've seen Peter Ducey ask questions about this, but I would love to see uh, mano a mano, uh, Sean Hannity and the press secretary. That would be a lot of fun to watch. Well, I'd like to get an answer. Tara Reid and a woman by the name of Ms. Flores accused Joe Biden in this recent campaign of inappropriate behavior. Uh, we've seen a lot of creepy videos of Joe sniffing hair and, and touching and in people's face, and it was frankly bizarre. Um, does, if, she's, if Joe supports the investigation into Cuomo, should there be one into Joe? That's a fair question. Yes, no. I all of those should be asked. Sean, on my first day, I mean, if you think of the questions I was asked at the podium, I was asked about allegations of that nature that were false allegations, but allegations nonetheless uh, against the president. I was asked if I would ever lie to the press. Um, I said no, and I kept my word. I never did. We had footnotes to everything we ever said. But those are the flavor and the variety of questions I was asked at the podium. And by the way, we had to anticipate at the podium. Uh, but those are questions um, we, we've heard crickets. We, we, they just don't simply get that degree of scrutiny in a Democrat administra administration as you would in a Donald Trump administration. Well, you did an impressive job, and I don't know how you did it. There's not enough money on this earth to make me... Well, actually, I might do it just for fun. You know, there is a fun aspect to that um, at moments, but you did a great job. We're uh, honored to have you here. Thank you so much for being with us, and we're, uh, we're looking forward to having you on a lot. Thank you.